um, you know, I told people my story. I said, before I started practicing mindfulness, I never thought I was judgmental. I just thought I was right. <laughs> Oops. And then and that damn I mindfulness. Started, <laughs> and then I started seeing it and I was horrified yeah, yeah, sure. at the level of judgment. Okay, we are good to go. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm having kind of a sort of a day off, which is good because I just taught six days in um, D.C. And then I took the train up, which I love the train, East Coast oh, nice, train, nice. to New York. And now I'm in Irvington, which is a lovely little town north of Manhattan. Oh, it's nice to have and, some downtime, huh? Yeah. And then tomorrow I start another four days of teaching. And then Sunday <laughs> I go to South Africa. Wow. Rock and roll. Rock and roll, you got it. I mean, I teach my own dojo, and I teach a little bit in South Africa, but honestly, Miles, a few years ago, the politics got to me. And um, yeah, yeah. and I just kind of disengaged from it all, and, um, and also feel like the work I'm doing, that's where my contribution is, the Aikido yeah, principles sure. in the world, that, you know. Yeah, and it's bringing light, you know, and, and, and quite often in the Aikido world, it's uh, one big dysfunctional family it tends to tends to kind of bring darkness sometimes yeah and it's you know it's ironic but i mean i everybody's doing what they need to do and i feel like i really want to contribute i was in my life i've been touched most deeply by o sensei and mm. right. those are my two spiritual teachers who live like in my awareness every day and so i really want to spread what i believe it was a lot of O Sensei's message and insight in the it's best so way I can. But I can just and feel the heart. And it's not so much opening. doing Nikio or Sankyo on yeah, the mat. I mean, and, and it's, but Wendy, as you speak, I can feel the heart, like the energy, just like saying yes. And too often in the Aikido world, we get this kind of you know closing down, this kind of clamping down, and it's just you know it's just we're missing something there, huh? Well, you know, we're working through it. It's like our country. It's yeah, like sure. many things. Yeah, right. um, you know, we have um, a fair amount of compost. <laughs> and if we if we work well with well, it can become richness and in insight yes. and wisdom. Yeah. But we don't want to live in a compost pile. Yeah, right. And I think um, I know. You know, the thing about Aikido teachers. Well, I'll just tell you a quick story. Uh, years ago, I taught a seminar with. It was for women. It was like was Linda, Pat, myself. Anyway, and um, I mentioned to Pat Hendricks mm. that I felt it was really important that we constantly monitor our own ego because we could get an ego trip. And she said to me, oh, we don't do that. That was our men teachers. And I said to her, Pat, Whoa. we, we yeah. start class and you turn around and 30 people fall to their knees and bow to you every friggin' time you're yeah. on the mat. If you were not mindful, that's going to get to us. Totally. totally. And I work with it, you know, all my Aikido life I've worked with that because I saw it right away. I saw like, woo, look at that. The projection. <laughs> and the projections that come along with it is, is just, uh, you know, I was, right. I, when, when, I, when I first saw it, it was reflected back to me. I was like, wow, this is a huge responsibility. And it's so easy to, it's so de such a delicate thing. It's so easy to fall yeah. into it. And, um... You know, I've struggled with it a lot, and I think that there are many people who don't recognize the importance of struggling with that. They think they're cool, with, and they're not, you know, falling into it. But it's like this, you know, you'd say, Wendy, there's a hand on your face, and I would say, I feel something. You can't see, yeah. I can't see it. Or as yeah. someone said to me the other day, yeah. it's hard to read the label from the inside of the bottle. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> that was... That's perfect. And the thing is, we can't see it, but everybody around us can see it. Well, if, that's If they exactly. have their eyes open, if, they're, if they, you know, unless there's a codependence yeah. thing happening. Yeah. So I just have made the assumption for most years that I've been teaching Aikido that that is lurking around me and that I must constantly monitor myself. Awesome. Yeah. I never kind of stop and say, is it happening? I just assume it's happening. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. so that's, you know, that's the best I can do. But what I see is for many people, and they're very well intended and they have a great heart, they don't realize that sneaking up on them. Yeah. And and so I think that creates the shadow because then it creates totally. a kind of a competitiveness and a you and me and, you know, your students, my students, instead of, the Aikido world, we think yeah. in terms of your students, my students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just find that to be um, counterproductive. Well, but, I mean, if you, but, but my, my experience is that we invest years in, because we're passionate about our art, 
we invest years and years and years in this path, in this practice, and in, in a way, this identity, you know, to give us leverage in the world. And it's so easy to become attached to that. And actually letting go of that identity, which is the necessary step to evolve yes. and to mature, is it's, 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 you just have to. And it's so, and most people, I mean, to be honest, most people aren't interested in that. They're just not interested in it. No, I mean, the idea that you can have that credential that makes you special. Yeah, I mean, people right. say, wow, six week black belt, you must be. And I'm like, no, I'm just a regular person on the path who's been in there for a long time. Right, right, <laughs> and if right. you stay in long enough, you, know, you have a school, you're going to get some, you know, credentials. Yeah. But it doesn't mean th what you think it means. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, we have to. But, you know, for me, I'm lucky because I have another identity. Like I teach this yeah. work you know, two organizations and I yeah. teach this work in public courses. And so my Aikido credential is one of, it's, it's one of the parts that people well, see. It's, I a, see it's, it's, a, it's a thing in a bigger picture. Yes, exactly. And, and when that thing becomes the bigger picture, then, then all the problems start. That's the beginning and yeah. the end of it all. I know. I, I mean, I think that's the deal. And that's why it makes me a little sad that the shadow has gotten strong, but I'd like to think of it as compost, and if everybody can work with it, we could, um, you know, we could grow some nice stuff out of it. And that's, Amen. I think, one of the things you're doing is that you're trying to grow some really, you know, nice fruit and flowers um, out of whatever this is that we're working with. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's beautiful. I don't want to be derogatory about so, it. I, I just I, feel... Right. And we shouldn't be derogatory, but at the same time, we need that, that reflection is necessary. Especially from, from senior wisdom, whatever we want to say, but you know, you've know, you been around. And if you can't uh, give that reflection to the Aikido world, we're lost. <laughs> Somebody like yeah. you. Well, and I would like to give it from the point of view of um, just encouraging all of us to be more mindful about our tendency yeah. to sort of... Um, think we're special because of our rank. Right, yeah. All of us, including us. It's starting with us, in a way. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Just like we all are more mindful about it. Like, oh, look at me, I'm doing that. Instead of assuming I'm cool, yeah, yeah. we should examine. Like we do in mindfulness, you examine your mind. I mean, I just taught at the Mindful Life Con uh, Conference uh, Summit, they call it. And there were about 500 people there. Mm -hmm. I gave a talk, and then I gave a workshop afterward. And, um, you know, I told people my story. I said, before I started practicing mindfulness i never thought i was judgmental i just thought i was right <laughs> Oops. And, then and that damn I, mindfulness and then i started seeing it and i was horrified yeah, yeah, sure. at the level of judgmentalness yeah, no, it's, that it's, it's shocking and so when then, we take a look in the mirror yeah, yeah. and then and then yeah. you know finding ways to work on it finding ways to use meta and to calm myself down and yeah. to be Oh, look, I'm doing it, and I can choose now to be compassionate instead of judgmental. Yeah, but if yeah, I don't yeah. know I'm doing it, then I don't have choice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and mindfulness has given me choice.